Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings Redux, and today we're returning to the water processing plant because we got some formal complaints from the EPA about the water quality in Lemming Land. We're going to clean it out by saving all 30 Lemmings. And see, you can only have so many Lemming parts per million in your water, otherwise it turns this uh, nasty green color. But anyway, we uh, have a very limited move pool here. And this is a gold talisman, so I think... Let's see. Yeah, we have a pretty slow release rate going here, and we probably want to start building as soon as someone drops. Is that going to be enough time to build a bridge and save the town, the town of Townsville, the city of Townsville? Well, that's a good ramp he started making there. But I think that is... Uh, I don't like it. But that only gives us four builders from that point onward. We're going to have to figure this out some other way. You know what? I bet we can do it by... Well, it would be awfully tricky to have... Hmm. We might have to have somebody else do this. Because it would take some real crazy timing to start building here, then have this guy build, then have the third guy float his way out. That would be really odd, and I don't know if you could get away with that, but I'm going to try it real quick. Okay, yeah. He's coming out. Okay, he starts. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Let's see if making him a floater makes all the difference. That was only a few frames. It didn't feel very significant. Yeah, it's still a, it's still a bust no matter what. So let's go backward then. Oh gosh, I hate to do it like that. Because that means we got to get... A whole builder wasted here but maybe that's how it's done so let's just keep building like uh, nothing went wrong oh boy and now we're wasting one building up to the wall here so I'm gonna need oh yeah it takes at least that many it takes at least two maybe even three to get to the end so oh boy how do I uh Oh man, how do I separate out my stuff? Uh, we can't really... Can't really dig or make a trap or anything. It's just up to good building. But I feel like... I didn't even look over here. That's... That's the sucks. That's one... Two... Maybe even three bridges. So do I have to figure out a way to do this? With just... Okay, let's, let's try some weird building here. We might want to shorten this up some. This is going to look a little bit funky. Uh, we'll go ahead and let him walk because we need... Okay. I think we need him to go to the very tip there. Okay. And now you build from roughly here. Okay. What have we got going on there? Is that really enough to save... No, it's not. It's not enough to save him. I don't think I can distract that guy. I don't have any meaningful way to really distract that guy without having him build. Let's see how many bridges this uses then. Just coming forward from like here. So if I stretch it, stretching it touches the wall, but in that kind of wall touching way where it's not really actually correct and they won't walk over it. I'm going to try a little something then. As soon as he gets to this top step, I'm going to kind of squunch two bridges up. I'm going to do a little kind of anti-stretch. But that only gives me two lemmings to get to the end. And I'm not a fan of it, really. Um, let's go ahead and try another squunch. I think I just did a regular build. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, so that's pretty good. That leaves me two bridges. Can I really stretch it to the end from there? I'm not sure I can. Now what I want to know is, can I mine all the way through this safely? Two miners, I could still like... Well, I can... Well, okay. If I just mine, mine, and bash my way out, then that ought to be fine. I feel like the real challenge for me here today 
is going to be, what are you people doing? That is disgusting. Uh, did I do that right as soon as I possibly could? Okay, I'm going to have you chop first. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, you get it one guy doing it, and then none of them go. Go figure. You are all a bunch of weirdos. You know that? Okay. So get him up as close as I possibly can. That should... Yeah, that resolves that. Now I just need to know if I can get to the exit using two builders. Because the mining and bashing ought to be the easy part. We can avoid... We can avoid the... 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 the, the, the smashy thing. Shreddy thing. Entirely. I know. Sorry, I'm using such a... Such high-end scientific terms here. Okay. This is gonna be the tough part, probably. I really don't see how you can do this in less than... There is absolutely no way you can do this in two bridges. I'd be very flummoxed if you could. I'm gonna try some angles, but I'm not... I'm not, uh, happy with any of them. These are just, uh... These are just tests that I'm running real quick. So is there a way to do this without using five builders at the beginning of the level? Is there some kind of... Well, I didn't even have my finger on the right thing. Yeah, that's way too short. You can't do that from any angle. And I don't think coming from here is going to get it done, even no matter how much I stretch it out. Yeah... Yeah, that is, no matter how you slice it, a three-builder job. So no matter what I do, so I've got to find a way to use only four builders at the beginning of the level. Well, that seems theoretically doable. Hold on, I'm going to go back from the way beginning. Alright, so if I go, so I need to let this guy go. I think I can build from roughly the same spot and be fine. This is going to incorporate my squanchy bridge idea. So he builds a little bit. And two bridges is just enough to get to here. I should be able to let him walk nearly to that far. There you go. As long as one doesn't like end his thing prematurely. One should keep going. Okay, and then one, two, three, and then I do an anti-stretch bridge. Yeah, that gets them all up with three, so I should be able to do this now. So we can probably just skip right to the end of this little segment. All right, there they go. The last of them is going through. Do we have everybody out? Yeah, we have everybody out. Of course I hit 99 as soon as everybody got out, but we got that last basher going through. Everybody should be safe at this point. I believe I have... All 30 lemmings saved, so all is well. Again, not that hard a gold talisman, because with gold talismans, there's generally one highly specific way to do it. And with such a limited move pool, the hardest part was figuring out what to do with the builder situation at the beginning. But even then, that wasn't uh, that much of a mental struggle. Let's watch that last lemming go through. He is our talisman earner. There it is, another talisman unlocked. Only three left now. Our other talisman today comes to us from the Oh No More Lemmings level Creature Discomforts. It's another gold talisman where we have to save every lemming in order to qualify for the gold, which historically those have proven not to be too hard, really. Uh, we're sitting here looking at the exit to start out. The only real s problem here is figuring out how to uh, split things up. And I think this is the harder side because... This is where we have to uh, figure out how to uh, sort out our our miners and such, or and our digging tasks. Uh, so over here, we're gonna have a digger trap. So I only have one digger to use over here. Let's see how I want to do this up. Okay, so this is a good place to store the lemmings that are that are uh, not doing the job of trying to get over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, mine. We can uh, mine through here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mine, mine, 
bill build bash i still have an extra basher okay this one this one i think might kind of depend on on what i'm able to uh get out of here with over here we're just gonna build a digger trap and have a climber come out and do his thing we're gonna do this over here a simple little trap i think everybody is fine from there okay all right and i think once i have my traps established all right actually i should have had it i think he was facing right when he started digging i should have him go left that way well uh, that's a bit of a quandary but i'm still gonna do it it'll take two builders to get out of here and i think that might be too much um okay yeah want him to go deep so that when he builds nobody gets out okay that's good so now let's go 99 release rate we want everybody out everybody clear out clear out the sound stage strike the sets here we go getting it started we have nine builders left i'm only going to use well i'm going to use four so that'll leave five for working out over here one two three <laughs> yeah i may have uh, just kind of okay we need to maybe we need to do this side in a way that uh I may have decided to use the wrong area over here. Although I kind of don't think so. I have my confidence that we can stretch out these bridges is actually dwindling quite a lot. I thought I could get out, get this done with two bridges. And I'm seeing that I cannot, which is uh, pretty scary. So six and then five to get over here. Uh uh no sir i don't like it yeah i'm using way too many builders here this is this is bad news maybe i should have gone a different way with this maybe i should have even tried to build from inside the pit that would have, well that would have used just as many builders because that height doesn't look looks not great bob so yeah and even getting over here yeah it's four bridges left after building to here there is absolutely no way four bridges are going to get the job done getting to here that just looks that's just too funky man it's too funky for my white blood this is this is no good at all i gotta figure out something else okay let's try this how about i dig here this would allow me to use a variety of digger tools to get to the exit. So I build here. Okay, and I'm going to pause here. All right. All right. So he's building there. Let's test and see if one builder will get them out of the pit. So, let's see. That's one builder for them. Okay, so he's already moving along doing his thing. I would need him to bash right here okay okay they do escape with just one builder but it still is that too many am i am i doing a wrong thing here okay so we know he turns around and hits his head but that's fine because he still makes it onto here which is what i wanted so that's very good that gets us through that pillar now we just gotta mine through this one and we can bash to here and that leaves that leaves still not a great amount of builders for over here. The problem is I have to tend to this side first, so I have to do the math over for this side. Okay. All right, and then six builders. Well, hold on, no, no. I can use as many builders as I want. Actually, let's back him way up. Okay, I can use as many builders, I can use more builders on this side, not as many as I want. Okay, I need to use the builder over here to let them escape because I can let them all out by being climbers. Now, if there was a way I could end my digger pit, 
uh, without actually wasting a builder in the process. That'd be fine. Okay, I forgot I had 10 climbers. So I can just have them all climb out and that's fine. So, so I've got one more climber than I initially anticipated. All right, let's go one and, and then to free them, that leaves me with five builders, which I still don't think is great, but I'm gonna see if there's any way I can make it. Okay, let's have a climber come out. Let's start doing some test runs. So, one, maybe two, three, four, five. Mm. I feel like I need one more builder. I feel like I need about six builders to do this. Because here's my path right now. Come here. Go to there. Okay. I think the only thing really standing in my way here is builder efficiency. I'm not using my builders efficiently in some spot. Maybe here. Mm, which side do I want to be? The, I obviously want this side to be the climbers. Because I have... Or to not be... The, I want this side to be the climbers. So they can all climb out of their pit. Maybe... No. If they climb up the wall. I was going to say. If they climb up the wall. Maybe that provides enough of a distraction. That he can build the exit. But if they go over the top of the ceiling. They'll die. Because Neo Limix has death boundaries. So... This side needs to be the climbers. Or the... I keep saying that. This side needs to build their way out. This side needs to climb their way out. But what is... Because there is a real issue here of... Builder usage efficiency, right? Okay, back onto the bridge. One... Yeah, that, that just doesn't work. I can get... Well, yeah. And I can only get to about here. I have to save everybody. Otherwise, I'd probably send a climber up and bomb. And then do some... Maybe maybe use a couple builders here. Can I get up the wall without killing someone? That'd be nice. Mm, I don't think I can get a limbing up the wall without it dying. I don't think he'll just hit his head on the ceiling. That's not the way Neolimix works, if I recall correctly. And this bridge just doesn't work out right here. I need to save the majority of my bridges for... Yeah, I'm already out of builders. And he'll die if he turns around there anyway, so I don't want that. Uh, well, first of all, probably... Well, would the thing to do be to build up to here, bash through here, and then build to here? Because you only need one builder here if they're all climbers. Because you can build to just here and they're all scoot up the wall. Would I really have to use a basher here? That would mean rethinking everything over here. Okay, this one is... This one is legit. This one is uh, actually... Okay, this one's a little bit of a brain hurry. Okay, I may have gotten closer. I've used a route that goes through the bottom... Mine, mine, bash, bash, build, build, build. There's only three builders being used over here, but I'm still using seven builders over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That only leaves them to get out of the hole, and I don't have any builders left. So there's something I'm doing wrong. There's some inefficiency I've created. If only I could do, like... If only I could do something... I have one extra digger. Is there any way to like cut this off? Because uh, I would love to cut this off with just a... Mm, see, like, I feel like I could maybe... Maybe like dig and use a blocker and then dig him out. But then how does the other digger... I'm so close. I'm so close. I feel like I have the route right. There's just one teeny thing I'm not doing right with my builders, I th think, I hope. Okay, my builder trap is not the problem. Okay, here's the last limbing over here. I just did not have the correct path through here, I think. I think what I can do is bash through here. Bash through here again. I hear the click going over here, so I need to pay attention to him for a little bit. 
All right, go ahead and you start your journey down through here. Where are you? Oh, you've already turned around. That's bad. Uh, so I actually need to get him going next. And I need to get him going by mining right there. He can mine and then mine. Okay. So, build. Okay, now I'll pay attention to you over here. All right, he should be able to mine through these with plenty of space. So let's go, let's go up to the first step here. I think that's a good chopping spot. And we will go ahead and... Okay, now... Is this going to create a walkable bridge? It is. I see the pixels overlapping. You continue on your way. Okay, so now he should be able to... Okay, he needs one more. I have four bridges left. There we go. Okay, so what that should do for me is... Okay, you finish up. You do this. Okay, so I have two bridges left. One for them and one for them. I should be able to free them all now. So you go ahead and build up to here. Those guys can start walking free. Okay, there we go. All right, they're home free, and now build them to freedom. Now we just make sure all our climbers go out to the left. And there it is, creature discovered. That one was a little tougher to solve. This is a quite distracting little pathway here. But, got it. Got it with my own gray matter. Uh, another couple, I think, to be proud of in this case. Two gold talismans uh, solved with a relative lack of difficulty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the pin -up ultimate episode of Lemmings Remix. Join us next time for the final two talismans of the game.